Welcome back. President Biden is in Israel, the first stop in his Middle East trip. He's set to receive the Israeli Presidential Medal of Honor. The award will be given to Biden in recognition of his friendship with Israel and contributions to the U.S.-Israel relationship, as well as his fight against anti-Israel hatred and anti-Semitism. We're joined now by the national president of the Zionist Organization of America, Mort Klein. Mort, thanks for taking the time this morning. What is the significance behind this honor for President Biden? Well, giving President Biden this honor makes no sense whatsoever. He's been one of the most hostile presidents to, to our greatest ally, Israel, we've ever had. When it comes to Iran, who threatens Israel's very existence, uh, he's ignored sanctions against uh, Iran, Biden has. He wants to end sa uh, other sanctions. He wants to open up a Palestinian consulate in Jerusalem, Israel's capital, to show that the Arabs, the Palestinian Arabs, have a right to parts of Jerusalem, which is outrageous. And our, we have a Taylor Force Act, which says no money can be given to the Palestinian Authority as long as they continue to pay Arabs to murder Jews and Americans. Yes, they have a policy spending 400 million a year paying Arabs to murder Americans. We have a law saying you can't give them money until that policy changes. And instead, the President Biden is sending them $500 million uh, in aid. Now, furthermore, almost every appointment he's made, Biden's made, that affects Israel, has been someone hostile to Israel. Uh, two examples, Mahir Bitar, the head of intelligence for the Security Council. He's had conferences every year to boycott Israel at Georgetown University. Uh, he's had conferences on how to demonize Israel. Hedi Amar, who's the key envoy between the U.S. and the Palestinian Arabs, uh, has said he's inspired by Palestinian terrorism. Can you imagine? These are the people he appoints, and there's dozens more uh, like this. He also demands that the Arabs be allowed to build in Judea and Samaria in the West Bank, <clears throat> and yet he says no Jew should be allowed to build even on 3% of the Palestinian, uh, on the West Bank, Judea and Samaria, uh, where Israel builds, a tiny proportion of it. Uh, also, when he's uh, going to the Arab areas of eastern Jerusalem, he's told Israel he doesn't want any Israeli official with him, really uh, uh, undermining Israel's sovereignty. Uh, in, in Jerusalem. And I might add, your, your, your viewers may be interested to see, this is a map of all of the Middle East. The orange are the 23 Arab countries. The yellow is Israel. Israel is a tiny country smaller than Rhode Island. And yet uh, Biden is demanding that Israel give up even more land uh, to, uh, to the Arabs. And uh, he's not making an issue out of the fact that the Palestinian Authority not only pays Arabs to murder Americans and Jews, they have an emblem, as you see here. This is a picture yeah. of Israel, of all of Israel, with the Arab kafia. In other words, they are saying Israel has no right to exist. The Palestinian Authority is saying it. you got a picture of the terrorist Arafat with the sure. rifle. And on their Facebook, the Palestinian Authority's Facebook says, we want all of Israel from the Mediterranean Sea to the Jordan River. They say it openly, and yet uh, he's siding with the Palestinian Authority uh, on all these issues. It is an, an absurdity to give him uh, an award uh, for being a great, great friend of Israel. He's even threatened to cut all aid to Israel if they build any more in eastern Jerusalem uh, or in Judea and Samaria. All right. Clearly uh, not believing in Mort's opinion that he is worthy of the award. Thank you for laying that out. Mort Klein joining us with his opinion and his take on the situation. We do appreciate it. Take care. Also Thank his you. own graphics as well. Still ahead, perception versus perspective. Biden is claiming he has a bright outlook in 2024, but do voting Democrats feel that same way? We break that down coming up next.